Hello and welcome to this month's Mixed Media Menagerie. Um, we will be joined by guest artist Nina for this one. Um, we have changed things up. If you saw our previous uh, video with the flip through, we've changed things up a little bit. We're using a new journal. Um, and this month we will be using palette knife, wax seal, and some stitching. Um, our sponsor is Peace Craft Love, who is also the one who carries our mini uh, mixed media menagerie kits. Uh, she sent us the kits this month with this little package of ephemera goodies. Um, so I'm going to use some of these in my project, but I just kind of wanted to empty it out and show you guys what comes in it. and. Um, so there's a bunch of cool little things. I love that little pocket and all the tags. So make sure you check out Peace Craft Love. Uh, I'll link the website in my description below. Um, so this is a brand new journal. It's the Stillman and Burn 8.5x5, maybe 8 by 5 um, And I, you'll notice that like I skipped the first page. Um, the inside cover is the same paper, it seems like, as the rest of the journal, um, but it's kind of like a thing that I don't like working on the first page of journals. I don't know if it's like intimidating or what it is, but it's always just, I always end up just skipping that first one, so it's weird, I know, but I want to try to take a little bit of a different approach with this journal um, than I did in the Dina Weekly journal. I don't know if this is the same for you, but um, the type of, of journal that I'm working in kind of dictates almost what I do and the type of art that I create. So like in the Dina Weekly journals, I feel like it has to be for whatever reason that it it makes me feel like I have to make in a certain way or with certain things or something like that whereas this journal I feel like I have a little bit of a different type of style and and stuff like that and it's the same with junk journals I don't know if I am describing it in a way that makes sense um, but it's just something that I've found, like junk journals, I can do different things than I do in store-bought journals and, you know, watercolor journals and stuff like that. Um, does it end up all being in my style and, and stuff like that? Yes. But it's just kind of interesting how I've, I've noticed um, that. And let me know if you've if that makes sense to you and if you've noticed that about yourself at all or how you've gotten over something like that. So I had all these pieces of collage paper um, kind of on my desk. I had pulled out a stack of them to start working on some collages and then of course everything that was in the um, that little goodie bag that Peace Craft Love sent us. Um, so I'm just kind of playing around with making some or putting some collage down in random areas. Like there is kind of a method but not also, you know kind of just doing it randomly. I don't want to layer the whole thing like I have done so much in the past. Just want to have some areas where some of the collage is coming through. So 
So now I'm gonna take my gesso and with my palette knife, which this palette knife and that big glue stick and that graphite stick is included in the um, mixed media menagerie bundle, by the way, um, I'm gonna make a thin layer of gesso over the collage papers. I don't want to cover them completely um, with gesso. I kind of want some of the bits to stick out. Um, and I was a little upset that I covered that um, craft paper pattern, um, which is a new Dina Weekly stencil. Um, I was mad that I covered that up so much. Um, but I do want to make sure I get like the, the areas that aren't covered with any collage. Um, because, you know, we're going to paint on it. So um, I don't want it to seep through the paper or soak in or anything like that. So now I'm grabbing this, uh, excuse me, X stamp that I carved a long time ago. Um, I'm just stamping it in random places. For whatever reason, I've been really drawn to X's and crosses recently, um, which is just something that I've noticed I, I really like in my artwork and other people's artwork. Um, so here I was trying to decide between the golden um, green gold and then Dina Weekly olive and it's really interesting how different they are. Also you'll see that I got more turquoise which is exciting. Um, if you saw, I think it was my Instagram post a little bit ago, I had run out of turquoise which was just a tragedy. Um, so these colors, this green gold and the olive are so different and I, I wanted more of like a greener green gold than I feel like the olive gave. Like you can see there the difference between the green, like the golden color and then the Dina Weekly color. I felt like the Dina Weekly color was just so yellow, um, which I didn't want. I wanted more of a green and I really liked how these like little check stubs, those little blue receipt check things, um, under the gesso looked so turquoise. Like I didn't want to cover it up and I had a hard time painting over it because I loved how that color came through the, um, the gesso. It just was really cool. So I'm kind of just taking these colors. I have the turquoise, the green gold, and marine, and I'm just loosely painting around um, the spread.
It was a little tough for me to figure out where to go next. Um, I wanted to use the palette knife more and I wanted to create some texture, but it was a little scary because I knew I had this idea of putting um, what I'm mixing together now, which is gesso and uh, plaster. This idea that I had of just like putting it over the page in certain areas was scary, obviously, because I really liked the way that the paint was flowing and how it looked and everything. And, you know, I didn't know how it was going to turn out. And I, I wanted to add this texture, but at the same time, I was like, it's going to ruin it. <laughs> um, but I went for it anyway, because that's what our journals are for. So I'm adding some texture and then I'm going to take the palette knife and go through all of that space and just make marks. Um, some of the areas are thicker, other areas are thinner, and I just want to scrape away some of it so you can see the color that's underneath, but also um, create those marks and in, in interesting texture. And then I think off camera, once I'm done making the marks, I add a little bit more of that texture paste um, on the left side kind of going up more so then it's not just at the bottom although the bottom is my like heavy area I guess um, like my focal area but I also add a little bit going up the side so that way it's not just all concentrated down there So now I'm breaking out some more collage papers and these tags um, and I want to make a focal point. Um, I know that I want to stitch on my focal point. Um, I want to make like a collage area and do some stitching on that and also have that be where I use um, my wax seal. So I'm just kind of layering papers together and you know finding what I like. So now I'm going to do my stitching and I'm just using some um, DMC 
thread. It's a thicker one now and like kind of twisty. I think it's like pearl thread, but it's not shiny or anything like that. Um, and I'm just making some X's with the thread around the um, collage tag. So now I'm going to take my um, wax beads here and this is, I think it's called Sea Glass from Um Wow Studio um, and I'm going to add my wax seal but first I felt like my tag wasn't long enough but like with the whole tag, like without that bottom part ripped off, I felt like it was too long. So I put it back um, and made it, like I had ripped it off but I put it back so I made it not too long but also not too short um and then i did my wax seal which is this little botanical um i can never do my wax seals perfect but that's okay um they always end up like missing a side or something but i like the little botanical with the botanical and now i'm adding some scribbles with my pink or maybe it's salmon neo color 2 uh crayon I'm going to wet it a little bit. I know I wanted to add some pops of pink. I really enjoy the contrast of pink and green. Um, so that was kind of my inspiration. And then obviously I used some pink uh, elements in my focal point. And now I'm going to figure out where the heck this focal point is going to go. Because again, with my whole struggle of my different types of journals and stuff like that, me, I don't usually use like focal points in this type of journal. These kind of focal points. I'm not sure why. Again, I'm just super weird. Um, I kind of just like go all abstract and then leave it there rather than making a specific focal point. Um, so I'm like struggling to figure out where I want to put this. Especially because I really like that side on the left um, with the X. But I also really like how you can see those collage pieces picking through, peeking through on the right. So it was a struggle to figure out where I wanted to put it. But ultimately, I decided to put it on this right side. So I also have this like, I believe it's blush pink um, 
Beaut Wax from Elmwell Studio. And I decided, I thought it would be cool because it kind of looks like the, the salmon um, scribbles. I thought it would be kind of fun to just blop it, blop it, splatter it all over the page and just see what happens. And it adds some interesting dimension. Um, it's fun, it's different, and I kind of like it. I mean, you might think I'm weird, but I think it's kind of cool. And definitely not something that you see often. And finally, I am going to add um, some black splatters. This is using my, I think it's DecoArt um, sprays that they have. And that's going to be pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and the project. I hope you'll play along with us and, um, you know, use your wax seals if you have them. Use a, whatever journal that you want. Just create something, whether you do everything that we do or nothing. Um, just make something. Don't forget we have the mini kit available from Peace Craft of Love. There's tags, glue sticks, mediums, palette knife, um, and a little bonus surprise. If you want to join us and be a guest artist, make sure you fill out the application so we have all your information. And finally, don't forget to tag um, on Instagram and YouTube, Mixed Media Menagerie and MMMFeb22, um, and you'll, your video will go into a playlist. Um, so I really hope, again, that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you'll play along with us. We're super excited to see what you create and what, um, if you feel inspired by the projects that we're doing. So thank you for watching.